Pete. Yeah, for days and days now. Meteorologist Darren Peck joins us now with more. Darren? And even though that fire is in Riverside County, this was kind of a shared experience for just about anybody in Southern California mm -hmm. today because that was the plume of smoke. This is the view from Mount Wilson. So we're looking out over the entire LA basin. And with so many clouds around lately, you might not have known what that was. But there's enough smoke coming off of that. It has drifted over much of Southern California. We switch back over to the weather computer and we can pinpoint where that's coming from as the satellite's able to read the heat signature on it. But you can also track that plume of smoke as it comes off of it. Better conditions now on the fire in terms of wind. We're only looking at a nine mile an hour breeze. But as we showed you from the helicopter when we transitioned to that fantastic fantastic tool that showed us the topography this fire is burning in. This is really being driven by the topography in the canyons through some of those locations. So it's not necessarily a wind-driven fire at this point. The driving factor behind this is the heat wave, and we're still in this. The excessive heat warning that we're all living with and have been for the past few days is extended now for another day. It does not expire until Thursday night at 9. So we're going to look at that in a lot more detail in terms of daytime highs. But here's one look ahead. Look how warm the morning lows are going to be tomorrow when we start out. That's a big head start on the daytime high. And I give you a couple of numbers here just to pick out your part of the Southland. How hot are you going to be tomorrow? You could even answer that by saying, how hot were you today? Tomorrow, we're kind of in a holding pattern. And then on Wednesday, the numbers are going to go back up a bit. I'll show you how much coming up in the complete forecast in a bit. For now, guys, back to you.